Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how you can keep track of the amount of storage that is used for each of your jobs in Jenkins. So let's get going. Okay, so here I am on my Jenkins installation. It's the same one that I've been using in the previous videos. Now the first thing that we need to do to monitor disk usage is to install the disk usage plugin. Makes sense, right? Now, if you've seen the previous videos, you know how to install plugins. It's basically the same process over and over again. So you go to manage Jenkins, you go to manage plugins, you click on the tab available to see all the plugins that you can install. And then in the filter field, you search for the plugin that you want. So in our case, it's disk usage. And I'm gonna click here, disk usage plugin. And I'm gonna say download now and install after restart. So this is now going to download the plugin, install it, and it will activate it on the next boot. So here we can see that the download has been successful. I'm gonna say restart Jenkins when the process is complete. And I'm gonna fast forward this video until Jenkins is completely restarted. And there we go, Jenkins has been restarted. Let's go back to the homepage. And straight away you notice that in the sidebar there is a new item called disk usage. And if I click on, it, click on it, I can see the disk usage of all my jobs in my Jenkins installation. And as you can see in this table right here, the plugin has already calculated the disk usage that the my website job is taking up. So the job itself is taking 42 kilobytes, which is nothing at all. All my builds, 31 kilobytes, which is also nothing at all. And then the workspace, 101 kilobytes. This contains the contents of your Git repository if you're checking one out. Now these sizes are updated every six hours. Now you can change this interval in the settings, but you could also trigger them manually. And here are the buttons to trigger a calculation manually. So again, this page gives us an overview of all the jobs on our Jenkins installation and how much space they use. Here down in the table, we can also see the disk usage per project, but you can also see it in the project details page. By default, however, this setting has been disabled. So let's go look at the settings page of the disk usage plugin and enable this feature. So I'm gonna to go to my homepage, click again on manage Jenkins. And this time I'm gonna click on configure system. And I'm gonna scroll down to the section disk usage. So here are all the settings for our disk usage plugin. The first three define an interval at which the plugin should run and calculate the size that each of your jobs takes on your disk. By default, this is set to every six hours. Now the setting that we are interested in is this one right here. It says show disk usage trend graph on the project page. Now we want to enable this so I'm gonna do that and click on save. And now when I open up a project, like for example, my website, I can see here a new graph appears, which is the disk usage trend. And it will show me how much disk space this project has used over time. So right now you can see here on the horizontal axis that build one uses a certain amount of storage, build two uses a certain amount of storage, four and three and so on. So that was it for this quick video on monitoring your disk usage with Jenkins. If you're interested to learn more about Jenkins, make sure to subscribe to this channel and also check out the rest of the free tutorials.